Samal Island. It's known as the Garden Island, and it's also known for these, mangoes. The scientists call it Mangifera indica. The locals, they call it Munga. Growing mango as a cash crop is not easy. Disease and pests, nutrient deficiencies, can all result in poor yields and fruit that is below optimum quality. And it's especially difficult for smallholder growers to obtain finance to buy the inputs to produce the top quality product demanded by the big supermarkets and global agri-food business. In fact, accessing finance is so difficult that many orchards here are no longer being managed. Growers can still send poorer quality product to the local wet markets, but it's the high value supermarkets and food service sector where they can make good money. So, on Samal Island, the major challenge is this. How can poor smallholder farmers improve their product to access those high value markets? Well, three years ago, a group of concerned farmers decided it was time to look for solutions. So they formed the Samal Island Mango Growers Association. Simaga was formed in 2008 and whose purpose is to impart the correct culture of mangoes to more than 3,500 mango farmers. Helping Simaga achieve its vision is a dedicated team of scientists and supply chain experts. Because all we are trying to do is to contribute through research to address the main areas that we think are currently limiting your production of mangoes, and that is insect pest management, disease management, nutrition management, some of the residues that you may get by trying to control some of these imp uh, uh, impediments. So, with the experts from different universities, an integrated crop management guidelines was developed to be implemented by the local government units. The experts from UPLB have started with this. Uh, UP Los Baños is involved in four uh, areas of uh, research. Uh, one is uh, insect management, which focuses on uh, three major uh, insect pests like seed fly, trips, and, uh, and uh, pulp weevil in Palawan. For uh, disease management, we uh, are focusing our research on stem and rot and, uh, and uh, scab, mango scab. And then, of course, uh, Dr. Anna and her group are doing the wonderful job of taking that research and linking it directly to you. Today, na atay workshop sa trips, lip hopper o guban pang mga dangan. Nagakandak usab kami o mga workshop bahin sa sakit. Uh, sama sa antraknos, mango scab, o uban pa nga mga sakit sa manga. Usab nagakanda kami og workshop mahitungod sa maayo o tama nga pagpruning. Kay kini makatabang usab sa pagsumpo sa mga sakit o dangan. Ang akong nakatunan sa training mao ang pagmonitor sa mga dangan o sakit o usab sa pagpruning. Tungod ni Ani, medako ang akong abot o miminos akong gasto sa chemical. After the training, nahibalaw na namo kung saan pagbabunga ang mangga, kung uh, saan pagmanage ang farm, kung saan ang pagpruning, nahibalaw na namo ang correct pruning o management sa mangga, sa manggahan. So, uh, improve ang production. No? Itaas-taas ang kanang kita abot sa mangga. In 2010, ACR sponsored uh, a trip to Singapore and Australia and through that trip we learned the importance of the value chain and uh, everything that is needed so that our produce will be acceptable in the international market. As a united group, these farmers have a lot more power than as individuals. Ang Simaga nakahimo og tripartite agreement uh, sa banko, sa international buyers, og ingon man sa Agway Chemical Corporation. 
kining agreement importante kaayo sa mga mag-uuma diri sa samal nga wala ikapinan sa ilahang manggahan. Kasagaran diri sa mga mango growers, dili gud maka-afford og mopalit og chemicals. So ang bangko ini is as mandate mutabang ana mga growers. So ang aro maka-avail sila diri sa bangko, mo-apply sila og loan, kinahanglan mimbro sila sa Simaga. In 2010, Simaga achieved a major milestone. Two international companies operating in nearby Davao City accepted their mangoes for export to Japan. We want to link with Simaga because of two things we have. Uh, one is uh, we Samar mango have good quality and then second Samar Island has a lot of mango farm. Nakashin need process mango, meaning high sugar content and low acidity. Very sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. It's now harvest time at George Petuccio's farm. As a Simaga training course graduate, he's been making good use of his new skills. And he's produced a bumper crop. In order to minimize the error in the production, the technology of mango must be clearly, very clearly in the minds of the farmers on how to do it correctly. We invite all mango growers, if they can come, to attend the technical presentation. If they are really interested of growing mango, they should come. Uh, unang una, ang unang napalit na to ang mga inputs uh, like fertilizers, mga kanang gamit or equipments para sa atong manggahan nga wala pa nato mapalit before na uh, wala pa tay maayong income. So karon, ni-improve nang atong facilities sa spraying facilities aside from that na pagi opportunities ng kapalit og bag-o nga kanang farmland or mango mango farm. Tungod ni aning dako na akong abot, nalipay kong dako, tungod kay nakapalit ako og chinso, power spray, o grass cutter, o ingon sa mga inputs para sa akong manggahan. Gikan sa pagmangga, nakapatukod ko og akong balay diri sa kogon. Karon, ang akong suon, nagkapatukod siya balay karon, gikan po gihapon ni sa pagmangga niya. We will stand by you. Do what we need to do. We will commit ourselves to support the program so that at the end of the day, every mango grower within Samar Island should be empowered to make the decision and make Samar Island the Gamaras of Mindanao. Lamont, delicious. <laughs>